First thing I want to do is I just want to try to understand what's going on over here. Okay, uh, what uh, are we counting by here? Um, uh, it looks like if we're counting by, let's see. If I half this, I multiply it by 1 over 2, that would be negative 1 over 10 pi. And then if I count, I would get negative 2 over 10 pi. And I would get negative 3 over 10 pi. And then I get negative 4 over 10 pi. Now, this is unnecessary. We don't need to do all this. But I like to see what our tick marks are counting by. They, they simplified it right here. Um, this simplifies to this, right? If I divide by 2. They're the same number. And then if I go over here, it'd be uh, one, 1 over 10 pi, 2 over 10 pi, 3 over 10 pi, and then 4 over 10 pi. And then the last one is this point right here. That would be 5 over 10 pi, which simplifies. Do you guys know what 5 over 10 simplifies to? Yes. Okay, so now let's read this. Which of the following approximates the area between F, that's this curve right here, cosine X, and the X axis on the interval from negative 3 over 10 pi, which is right here. Okay, so we have negative 3 over 10 pi. This is the beginning. That's our B. No, I'm sorry. That's our A, our lower bound, all the way to this guy, which is 1 half pi. Use right Riemann sum with eight equal subdivisions. Okay, so the pictures are all drawn for us. We can see that the each height of the rectangle is determined by the right side of the rectangle. Okay, so um, before I start looking at answers, which I don't like doing because sometimes they confuse me, uh, let's see if we can do it ourselves. Okay, uh, let's say we don't know what the I starts with. Uh, we know that we're going to have F with X is plugged in, and we're going to have a delta X over here multiplying to this. Okay, so let's do the really easy part first. Do you guys know how to find delta X? Anybody? Anybody? Yeah, B. remember B minus A divided by what? N, which is the number of rectangles. Okay, so we have B, which is pi over 2, right? One half pi, one half pi minus uh, the A, that's the beginning one, which is uh, negative 3 pi over 10, divided by uh, how many equal subdivisions? Ooh, you count seven <laughs> rectangles, right? But our last rectangle is like a line because it says eight equal subdivisions. So we have to divide it by eight. All right, so we can figure this out. Easy peasy, right? So um, I add the opposite. Uh, we need to have common denominators. So we'll make this a 10 and put the 5 right there. And so I get 8 pi over 10. And then we're dividing by 8. Or we can say multiply by the reciprocal of 8, which is 1 over 8. So our delta x equals, uh, these 8s cancel out, ten uh, pi over 10. Okay, so there's our delta x which we kind of already saw in each of these answers if you guys were looking, okay? All right, so there's our delta x, but now how do we figure out the x's that are plugged in? What is the first x that's plugged in here? Is it the negative 3 pi over 10, or is it the negative 2 pi over 10? Is it the left side, or is it the right side? Huh, which one is plugged in? Ooh, it's a right Riemann sum, right? So we go the right side, which is negative pi over 5, or we can say negative 2 pi over 10. doesn't matter which one we choose. Um, but we're adding uh, to this guy because um, right here. Oh, do you guys remember this formula? I gave it to you. A plus delta x i. Okay, so delta x we found. I comes from this right here. What's A. That's our lower bound, negative 3 pi over 10. Okay, but we don't want that, that to be the first x value. We instead have to add the delta x, which would take us from here to here. Huh, right? And, and our first x value would be a negative pi over 5. Okay, so if we want to add a delta x to the first iteration, what should we start with? If we started with a 0 then that would eliminate the delta x because delta x times zero would be zero. We don't want to start with a zero. We want to start with a one. So that means our sigma notation is going to go i equals one. And then inside here, we're going to have um, 
negative 3 pi over 10 plus pi over 10 i and then we have pi over 10 on the outside multiplying by pi over 10 okay and then what is what is f f is cosine oh i should have just subbed that in when i had the chance so i don't have to rewrite it all over again okay we have cosine of negative 3 pi over 10 plus pi over 10 i and then you have multiplying by pi over 10. okay we're missing one more number what's this last number going to be up here uh, it's going to be eight because we want eight iterations, eight rectangles. And so now you can clearly see, hopefully, what is our answer. Now, mathematicians don't like to write extra signs if they don't have to. So if you switch these two si si uh, numbers right here, we don't have to write a plus sign. We just have to write a minus sign. And that's what they did over here. Um, I think D is our answer, right? Now, you might have faster ways to get it. I went the long route because I was trying to get everybody to understand it. So good luck on your practice.